Welcome to the Body of Art Show with your host, professional fine artist and holistic art coach, Catherine Lucas. Join Catherine and her expert guests as they share insights and inspiring stories of transformation that will help you develop self-mastery and truly hone your craft. Now, learn to become the masterpiece that you are with your host, Catherine Lucas. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Body of Art Show. I'm your host, Catherine Lucas. Today's episode is all about staying motivated creatively. Motivation is something that's generated from within and requires personal skills and practices to nurture and sustain it. Learning how to motivate yourself is one of the most important skills you can learn as an artist. It's a key attribute that determines whether or not you'll become successful as an artist. Believe it or not, talent is not the thing that determines success. It's only a component that may enhance your creative drive. But you must have the drive first and be able to sustain it if you want to achieve any success at all. In today's episode, I'll be offering a few ways that you can nurture and sustain your motivation to create your art no matter what's going on around you. But first, I want to let you know how much I really appreciate you all taking the time out of your busy day to be here. I know your time is precious, and I want to give you as much value as I possibly can during our time together so that you leave feeling inspired and empowered. I also appreciate all the wonderful feedback that so many of you have given me about the show. It truly inspires me to be here with you each time and share any experiences, knowledge, or insights that may help you master your passion. I invite you to join me on my Facebook page, Holistic Art Coach Catherine Lucas, and go ahead and like it if you want. On this page, you can ask me questions, share your thoughts, accomplishments you achieved, or even challenges that you're currently facing. I encourage you to post your requests for future topics you would like to have on the show. Here, I'll post tips, inspirational messages, and answer any questions that you may have. As always, you can connect with me at my website, bodyofart.net. I put a link to my Facebook page on my website so that it's easy for you to find. Now, if you're interested in finding out more about the artwork I create, you can find me at katherinelucasart.com or on Instagram at katherinelucasart and follow me there if you wish. Now, before we begin, I'd just like to remind you each time that the Body of Art Show is intended for educational, inspirational, and motivational purposes. All thoughts, opinions expressed in this episode are my own reflections on the topic and don't purport to replace any other viewpoints. So absorb what resonates with you today and just release the rest. You know, creating art is not easy. It requires discipline, persistent focus, and the ability to deal with feelings of frustration, discouragement, rejection, and self-doubt. As an artist, you need to produce quality artwork on a consistent basis no matter what's going on around you. Opinions from others about your art or your life as an artist can cause you to become stressed, unfocused, and feel inadequate about your work, undermining your ability to stay motivated. Learning how to motivate yourself is one of the most important skills you can learn as an artist. It will really help you manage the negative aspects of being an artist. If you want to achieve success as an artist, you have to define it and create it. Dreaming about it isn't enough. Success is something that you have to make happen and motivation is the vehicle to get you there. Since motivation is generated from within, You need to develop personal skills and practices to nurture and sustain it. So how do we do this? Let me share with you some of the practices that have helped me and many of my clients to consistently fuel our creative motivation. The first thing you need to do is define your big motivating factor or your why and journal about it. Why do you desire what you do? Now desire is the pulse of motivation. It's the fire that ignites passion, and passion helps us to become creatively alive and stay motivated through tough times. Just ask yourself, what do I desire and why? And then write it down. When you understand what you desire and why, you have an ally against elements that can hinder you. It will help you stay motivated no matter what obstacles come your way. Journaling about it will keep it alive and relevant as you grow as an artist. 
It will become a resource for future times when you feel stuck and reignite your passion for what you create. You could even expand upon it by writing about new things you discover that keep you motivated. In this way, your journal will become an important resource filled with useful tools to help you get through tough times or when you may feel discouraged or creatively blocked. Time blocking is another key practice to nurture motivation. In my episode, Master Your Time, Master Your Art, I spoke about block scheduling your time so that you can create on a consistent basis. Time blocking is about setting up boundaries. It's about setting an intention for that space. Creativity thrives on structure and that keeps us motivated. Setting an intention by blocking out specific time frames in our day keeps us focused to the task at hand. When we're focused and clear about what we're doing, we stay motivated. I found there's something about the physical act of writing it down in my calendar that keeps me accountable to my intention. Setting goals fuels motivation. If you don't know where you're headed, you can't make much headway. In getting to where you want to be, you essentially need to choose your destination. Think of your longer term goals and then chunk them down into mini goals, whether that's daily, weekly, or monthly. When you're feeling lost or discouraged, review your goal and then do one task that will get you one step closer to it. Perseverance is an attribute that helps an artist stick to their goals. Top artists find ways to show up no matter what. They embrace the daily practice required to achieve their goals regardless of their emotions or level of inspiration. They even show up through boredom. Now designating the time in your calendar for creative work is one of these daily practices that will help you show up no matter what and develop the tenacity you need to succeed as an artist. Incorporating playtime into your day also fuels motivation. Part of nurturing focus and motivation is to actually not work at all. Creative blocks that arise are usually due to mental gridlock. When you're feeling blocked, you're most likely overburdened or depleted mentally. One of the best ways to remedy this is to take routine breaks from your work in the form of play. Moving your body through physical activity helps to break up the mental gridlock and clears your mind so that you can focus on your work. As George S. Patton Jr. once said, An active mind cannot exist in an inactive body. Remember, play is part of the work. Exercising your body exercises your mind. The body and mind are not separate. They really depend on each other. On that note, nurturing your body with high quality foods will also nurture your motivation and drive. Creating art takes all of you, and if you're depleted, you can't give it your all. How you feel has a huge impact on your ability to stay motivated. When you eat nutritious food and keep yourself fit, you naturally feel good. And when you're feeling good, you're more inclined to be in a good mood and feel motivated. Mood greatly affects motivation. Again, the body and mind are not separate. If you want to learn more about how you can nurture your body and boost your creative drive, you can download my free offer on my website, bodyofart.net, on how to boost your mental energy and creative flow. Here, you'll learn more about what foods work best for you and receive my high-quality food guide along with other useful tips. Finally, affirmations will help you sustain your motivation. You must believe that your voice has purpose and meaning. Many artists struggle with this one, but I want you to think of it this way. The world needs your unique voice. No one else in the world does what you do in the way that you do it. Now many artists, including writers, are hesitant to create something they feel has already been done by so many others, whether that's a painting or a book or a blog post. I've read many books on the same topic and always learn something new because the way one author expresses a thought enhances my understanding of the same thought expressed by a different author in a different way. All of the unique viewpoints of the same topic by different authors expanded my awareness about it beyond what only one author can say. This is even true for a group of painters working from the same model. Even though they're working from the same subject, each painting will have a different expression about the subject or the model. Collectively, the portraits express the humanity of the sitter beyond just what one person can convey. Now, if you find self-doubt creeping into your mind, Just remember this, no one else in the world does what you do in the way that you do it. 
write this down and tape it up in your studio or workspace and look at it when you need motivation. Now as we wrap up today's episode, I want you to imagine what the world would be like if other great artists didn't motivate themselves to create. What great pieces of art would not exist? How would our world look if it were devoid of this art? Think of your artwork as a contribution for current and future generations. Create art for others to enjoy so that they can be inspired in the way you were from the artists that came before you. Believe that your unique view has meaning and purpose and it's worth the time and effort to share what you see. When you begin the process of becoming highly motivated, you'll find that you'll fall in love with your daily practice of creating and even with marketing it. Always keep in mind the viewer and how you will add to their lives as you inspire and expand their view of the world through your eyes and mind. Well, I want to thank you all again for listening to the show today. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here and would love to hear any comments you have about today's episode. You can do this by subscribing to the Body of Art Show on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, or TuneIn Radio and leave any comments there. I invite you to leave your review and ratings on iTunes as well. Don't forget to join me on my Facebook page, Holistic Art Coach Catherine Lucas, to let me know what you think about today's episode. And remember, you can always connect with me at my website, bodyofart.net. That's spelled B-O-D-Y-O-F-A-R-T dot N-E-T. Here you can find all of my previous episodes and opt in for my podcast sign up. That way, every show will be sent directly to your inbox so that you don't have to go looking for it each time. If you're looking for more creative inspiration, join Dave Bice and I on the Partnership for the Arts talk show where we talk art. You can listen to all of the episodes at partnershipfortheartsgroup.org. Here you'll find inspiring stories of transformation as well as insights from many artists including writers and musicians. Meanwhile, please stay tuned for more insights, advice, and inspiration in the next episode. Until next time, I want to leave you with this one masterpiece of insight by author Mark Manson. He says, The motivation to do anything like change your entire life around doesn't just come from some magical, mystical place within you. Action is both the effect of motivation and the cause of it. On that note, I empower you to take charge of your art and become the masterpiece that you are. You've been listening to The Body of Art Show, hosted by Catherine Lucas. The Body of Art Show has been brought to you by Body of Art Enterprises Incorporated, your source for individualized art mentorship and coaching. Our mission is to educate and support aspiring artists to step into their own personal power and master their passion. To learn more, go to bodyofart.net.